Good morning, Floss Tube friends. It is January 19th, and I'm so happy to be back. It's been a long time. I have in front of me today part of the whips that I'm hoping to touch this year, some of which I'm hoping to finish. And if possible, I will be doing a second video in a few days with more of the whips that I hope to finish and a few more new starts. I think I have one new start here to show you today. Before we jump right in, because I do have a lot to show you, I do owe you an apology for no response to comments on my last video. That holiday season was like the proverbial snowball rolling down the hill. We had a blessed holiday, family and more family, precious grandchildren, all the blessings of our Christian celebration. And after all the celebration was over, while one of our sons and his significant other was here with us for the New Year holiday, I decided to get sick, sick, sick. And I think it's the same thing a lot of you have been dealing with, some viral upper respiratory stuff that just hangs on and knocks your feet out from under you. The cough, I think, is the worst. I'm almost at the end of that cough, fingers crossed. And I, I was not myself for over 10 days. It, it was not fun. My husband caught, I think, a little bit of it, unless his is an allergy situation. He has a little bit of congestion and the cough, but he doesn't feel badly. So it makes me wonder if his is not just seasonal allergies because we have had freezing cold weather and snow after some warmer weather, just that time of year. So I apologize for not responding at all to your very kind words, and you know, if you've been with me a while, how much I love hearing from you and how much I want to respond. So forgive me, the sickness just took over. I didn't stitch much at all. It was just a blur of 10 days after all that holiday excitement. But let's jump into whips. I am resolved to do better in 2024. The first New start that got started a week or so ago is from our friend Allison's beautiful designs, new, new creation, a new creation studio. And this is the winter band sampler. If you have seen my other videos, you'll remember that I completed the autumn band sampler and have it framed. It's hanging in my, well, on my stairway right now. This is a tiny, tiny little start. Let me see if I can, ooh, this board may not work, guys. It's too big, I need to cut it. Let's do this. Sorry about all that shaking around. So that's my small start on the winter band sampler. Now I have a quick question about this one. It is on 14 count Fiddler's Cloth Ada, which will match or blend very closely with my autumn piece. I was having trouble seeing the snow, although on the camera, I'm seeing it better. So on this snowflake, I tried, let me do this, to make it thicker. Can you even, okay, right there. Instead of two strands, I actually used four. And I can't decide if this is a solution. It's certainly not too late to do something different. I'm wondering about two strands with some crinic or I don't know. Give me your feedback on that. I can't decide. The ones down here are just two strands because obviously it's two over one. But this is going to be a beautiful winter piece once I solve the snow question. I'm thinking four strands is too thick. Maybe I'll try two with a shiny Crinic, that might be beautiful. It does call for B5200. I think my Ada is just not quite dark enough. The next one is a whip that you have seen 
several times and you've heard me complain about this sweet, sweet design. I am not complaining about the design itself. It's just that every time I sit down to work on it, I don't make much progress, but I am determined to finish this this year. This is Teresa Cogut, and the angel's name or the title of the chart is Pray. I had dedicated this in memory of my mother who loved angels or loved collecting beautiful angels. She is gorgeous. When I look at this picture, I fall in love with her all over again. But my concern has just been the colors when I'm working on her. So there you go. As I've said before, this is the linen I chose from my local needlework store because they had this on display and this was as close as we could get to the linen they had chosen. Now that I'm looking at her on the camera, there are no issues. I don't think I've made mistakes. I think I just need to be careful to mark off what I finish and just get on with her. What a sweet piece that would be in memory of my mother. This is on a linen, I don't know what it is, but I think it's 32 count. If I find what that is, I'll be sure to share that with you. I'd love to get that one done this year if possible. Okay, the next one, a lot of you have completed and a lot of you are working on, and this poor thing got put away because there are too many whips and I think it's calling to me because of the colors. It is my sec second, third long dog sampler. I've only finished one. I have one other in this pile, but this is the famous pandemic. And I chose to do it on DM or do it with DMC 121, which is one of their variegated flosses. And I am working in this corner here. So let me show you what I have. And this one, if it's finished in my lifetime, it will be a victory, but let me show you what I have. Since we love blue so much, I would love to use this as a wall hanging somewhere in our living space. And there's no reason this hasn't been pulled out except other things got ahead of it. So I've made it across with my top border a long way. And I do not love the colors any less than I did when I picked them out. The birds, the little squirrel, I've talked to you about that before. So I just need to pull it back out. I'm stitching this one from Pattern Keeper. Oh, there's my bunny. I knew there was a bunny somewhere. And I found that to be very helpful. So I need to pull it all back out. I've got it on my little Chromebook and just do some blue stitching here in January. I hope I will do that. Fun to do on hard anger, the smallest piece of hard anger, smallest count hard anger I could find at my mm, Hobby Lobby that was big enough for the project. Okay, another oldie but goodie. This is not my oldest whip, but it's oh so old. I never date or had didn't in the day when I started this. Love the artist Charles Wysocki. This is his artwork, Peaceful Countryside. So an old dimensions kit. Oh my, 1993. I know I didn't buy it in 93 though. We ordered it after the fact. So again, why is it not finished? is on the kit fabric, which is Ada Kit Floss. I was working on the details at the top of the church steeple when I put it away. So again, it would be a fairly quick finish. I have a whole nother, <coughs> please excuse me, a whole nother building at the bottom and a lot of details. I'm not making light of what needs to be finished, but the colors and the subject matter just need to be hanging probably in my kitchen, maybe. 
So Dimensions Peaceful Countryside, another finish, could I? Every year I say I will, <laughs> I don't. All right, this is a big favorite and I need to finish this one because it's one of my husband's favorites. And let me see this, I think I have my fabric here. It's done on Winter Moon 36 count and it is Owl Forest Russian Windows. We chose this because of the colors and because their floss for this is just gorgeous as it always is. So let me put this in here so I will remember that fabric and show you this piece. <clears throat> it's a big piece. Maybe the board would work behind it. Let me see, guys. Display is a question. Okay, yes, it worked. Okay, so I have a good bit <clears throat> of that one side finished, and then the middle is finished. I would love for you to be able to pick up on that variegation. So we'll see, maybe not a finish, but definitely some progress on this one. Love this linen, I would use this again. I have to remember that one. Okay. Then, hmm, as is my life, I'm so disorganized about my stitching. I wanna finish this sampler this year and I can't find my floss. Ah, so please. Hold me to this one. I'm going to keep looking. It is DMC, so I will sub if I need to. This is Heartstring Samplery Prairie Life Sampler. And I originally said I would do this for my granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter. So I want to do that for her. We love the Laura Ingalls Wilder books. I'm actually rereading those this year on audio. But this would be perfect for her as she grows up. She will be soon a teenager, bless her. So the quote is, <coughs> please excuse me, the real things haven't changed. It is still best to be honest and truthful, to be happy with simple pleasures, and to have courage when things go wrong. <coughs> I'm going to need to get a sip of my coffee, I'm so sorry. And so here is the beginning, <coughs> excuse me, of that one. Got my border and the trees are just beautiful. <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna grab a sip. It's funny how your throat tickles when you least expect it. The next one was a precious gift. <coughs> oh, guys, you know what? I do know what that fabric is for, Prairie Life Sampler. It is flax, 40 count flax. So I need to definitely put those together. That is a beautiful linen. I would also use that one again. Okay, this was a gift from my sweet stitchy friend, Natalie, home sweet home handmade. And it is called, When I Think of Stitching, by Pantini Pantini. This should be a finish this year. I'm doing it on a box store fabric. It is 32 count Murano. And I believe that's, is that Hobby Lobby? Artiste. I'm not sure, but it's a Zweigart base. And this is what I have so far. Coming right along, I was moving well on this one. And again, it just got put aside, but all our supplies and tools and things we love as stitchers. That one needs to be in my little front guest bedroom stitching room for sure. All right, another new start. I hope you're hanging in there. It was from my haul back in the fall when we went to visit my dad. This is Token of Love by With Thy Needle and Thread. My husband actually picked it out. I did splurge and get the specialty floss on this. 
And I'm not sure which specialty floss it called for, but whatever is in this design, that's what we purchased. And the fabric is weathered shingle, and it is 36 count. None of these have the <clears throat> company, but that's okay. I allowed the sweet shop owner to help me with this fabric choice. And this is what I've done. So the center motif is finished, a token of love. The date of our wedding year, that year is in. The little motif with the green tree is finished. And I started this yesterday, which is the flower motif at the top. This is not huge, so I definitely can get progress on this. Let me show you where we are. So this is finished, this is finished. The year and the flower is the beginning of this center motif. I would love to sneak down there and get to that beautiful bird. So a Quaker design, I always love Quakers. And it will be an anniversary piece even though this is not a significant year this year, every anniversary is significant, right? This was one I bought last year, so it was a new start last year, maybe last January. Anyway, blue flower, spring quail. I love quails, I love dogwood, and blue flower has been fun to stitch so far. Now this fabric is tea tiny and I think I had planned to get two pieces out of this. It is Wichelt in the color aqua and it is 40 count. So my pea, it's a big, big piece, but I, my little start is right here. So I've got the little leaf. And look at those beautiful colors. Using the called for DMC on this one. Maybe I can find another beautiful spring piece to do on the rest of this fabric. So what leaf have I stitched? Hmm. Okay. It's, I believe, it's, I think I must have done a center start. So I could move over here and get a flower and go on up and get some dogwoods. And look at the Biscornu. I would love to do all three of these. I love this pillow as well. It says, sing of books, of blossoms, birds and bowers, of April, May, of June and July flowers. As we're dealing with freezing temperatures, this might be a cheering stitch for me to pull out. Love that one. And this is some of my absolute favorite fabric. That's just the color. <coughs> well, you can hear the coughing the whole video. I apologize. This sweet friend was a giveaway from, oh my goodness, Stitching with my Littley, Lauren and Kayla. Hello, ladies, if you happen to see this. And he has not, or she has not been out either, but... This is going to be, I hope, some of my travel stitching. Look at that bear. See, I can just fill in his head while I'm doing something else. Oh, just love it. All the kit, fabric, and floss. And it was an, is an anchor kit, Forever Friends. <laughs> just makes me laugh, so sweet. Excuse me. <clears throat> this may be my oldest whip in this group, guys. This is an embarrassing one to show, but we all have whips like this. Another long dog. This is Dankworth, and I originally selected this when we returned from our first trip to Scotland because I was enamored with the beautiful unicorns we saw over there, as well as the beautiful motifs that I don't know if you call those medieval. They just said Scotland to me, <clears throat> plus the colors. Well, this just gave me 
fits. I kept having to frog. <clears throat> and yet, oops, is it upside down? No, this is correct. And yet, it is just gorgeous. So now that top band I've frogged, and I think I'm able to put everything back in now. If not, you may hear me scream. The second band is finished, as is the third. As we go down, oh, I can't show anything today. Okay, all these are finished. And then at the bottom, we have more unicorns. <clears throat> and I had to frog that unicorn that's unfinished. And then we have one more big band with two more smaller ones. Let me show you the picture again. So I'll need to finish the small band, the big one, and then the small. My husband also loves this one. So if you, let me try to do better here. If you look at those rich, rich colors, these are all GMC. I do not have a clue what this linen is, but it is another favorite. It's terrible when you don't know what you're stitching on and you like it so much. Oh, I even, did I put the year? Oh, ha, I put 20, but I didn't put the finish year. Thank goodness. Okay, so yes, needs to be framed. Needs to be on my wall. Love that one. But oh, it gave me fits. Getting to the bottom of the pile. There will be another video. This one must be a finish like in the next couple of months. I am too close not to finish this one. Katie Carney got me enabled with this one. She made it as a gift. Oh, I believe she made the other one as a gift and I have that pattern as well, John 1.1. 1, 1. But this is Psalm 1832. It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. And it is from the Etsy seller Lifted Spirit Patterns, or you can go to her website, liftedspiritpatterns.com. Hoop finish, what could be better? Scripture to see every day, and then those beautiful greens. I rarely stitch in green, but I've enjoyed this, and I just need to get with the program. So let me show you where I am for that. And then I need something behind it. Okay, now look at that, guys. I'm not halfway through with that border, but the center is completely finished. I could just get a rhythm going. I think I could just whip it out. This is an even weave. I'm not sure what this is. It was a gift to me from a sweet, stitchy friend. But look at those lovely greens. This is all DMC. So no, no excuse. And I do have the John 1-1 one, one pattern. I would also love to stitch. And the last whip for today is when I started on my birthday or during my birthday month. This was a dimensions kit that was on clearance or sale, I believe, at Michael's. Sweet birds. This is called Tree Toppers. Now this is not a dimensions goal, so it's supposed to be easier and quicker. All the kit floss, but I did choose a different fabric because I wanted blue. And there's that little bird's head. That's all I got done. So it was literally an April start and then I put him away. But again, that would be a waiting for spring pattern that would be so much fun. It is the little bird in the middle that I started. So if I could either work up to some leaves or work down to the pretty flower and get his body done, that would be cool. And I love him on the blue. This is another even weave. Box store, I'm sure. So there's the beginning of the plans or the ambitions of a stitcher who has too many whips. 
I have an answer from uh, the video I did last time where I was unsure of a pattern in case you're interested. And then I'll show you the one new start that must happen. Let me show you the pattern first. If you remember the long pink pattern that I did for my daughter with the Scottish thistles at the top and the, well, maybe just at the top, and then the sampler alphabet and numbers. I can't show you the picture because I don't have it. This is the pattern. And then the life verse, whatsoever thy hand find to do, do it with thy might. I gave it to my daughter for Christmas. This is by, oh, come on, the cross-eyed cricket. This is a very old pattern. Oh, come on. No, the cricket collection. And it is called Thistle Sampler. That was easy. The cricket collection, Thistle Sampler. If I find a picture, I'll show you next time. But you saw the pillow. It was long and narrow two colors of DMC pink, and I couldn't remember the pattern because I had put it aside. So, Cricut Collection Thistle Sampler. All right, <clears throat> this was a gift from my dear husband and it has just been in my storage because I am overwhelmed, well, by whips, but also by how huge this design is. But you know, if you don't start it, you're never gonna finish it. This is Hands Across the Sea, and it is Sarah Borton, 1815. The colors are exquisite, and he bought the silks. And look at this beautiful fabric. It's 36 count limestone. It has a greenish tint to it. And with those silks, oh my goodness, I should have brought the silks. If I get this started this month, I will show you all those silks. This does not need to be in my storage. I need to be stitching it. And as in all the Hands Across the Sea samplers, there are gonna be some challenges. Satin stitch, I don't know what all's in here. I think that's what slowed me down. But guys, we must learn, we must get better, right? So that is it for today. We are getting close to 30 minutes. It's almost 28 minutes. I will close by thanking you for listening today, saying that I hope to see you again sooner rather than later, that I hope to comment when I hear from you, and that I want to make some progress and finish some whips. There will be more to come, and I look forward to that video. Keep in touch, enjoy every stitch, and try to have a wonderful end to the first month of this new year. Love to all. Bye.